Hello and welcome back to the channel and here are our Christmas decorations and thank you so much Gail for our Grinch. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. The more interactive you are with our channel, the more YouTube will shoot our content your way. This is Baby Jesus I'm working on. The local LDS temple here in Fresno commissioned me to make them a Baby Jesus for their live nativity scene. And he's done. He just needs his lashes trimmed and to get built. These two babies will be available soon for adoption. So fact number one is I have been in this industry for 12 years. Fact two is, yes, I do sell my dolls. I only sell them on my website. I've been selling strictly there for the last five years. And that website is www.inlovewithreborns2011.org. Not only do we sell dolls on the website, but we sell baby clothes and accessories for your baby dolls on the website as well. Like pacifiers, pacifier clips, clothes for your baby, super cute outfits, and diapers as well. So head on over there to check them out. Fact number three, I only sell kits that are purchased from vendors as of Irresistibles and Dolls by Sandy. Which for the most part come with COAs, but there are those few kits that don't have COAs. But if you keep up with the industry, you know what kits are being reproduced. So if you're buying one of those kits and it doesn't have a COA and it should have one, I suggest you don't buy it. If you're wanting to have all, you know, kits that are from vendors, that's kind of how you have to figure it out. Since we're talking about dolls, I do have three babies available on the website. This is Flora by uh, Priscilla Lopez. She's a skinny newborn sized baby. Super adorable. Just so freaking cute. She comes home with lots of goodies. So if you want to see more of Flora, just go to the website to check out her photos and to see what she comes home with. Detail or fact, I was going between calling these details and facts, but fact number four is what do I paint my Reborns with? They are all painted with Genesis heat setting paint and they are sealed with a matte varnish. This is another baby I have available on the website. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's a big baby. She wears three month size clothing and this is Kitty by Phil Donnelly. You don't see a lot of Phil Donnelly kits out in the industry. I just something I've noticed over the years. So if you're looking for a unique baby to have in your collection, one that not everybody has, Kitty is going to be a good choice of kit for you. She can take a magnetic pacifier. She comes home with lots of goodies as well. So feel free to check out her photos on the website and add her to your cart if you like her. Fact number five, this channel supports all dolls. We don't care what kind of dolls you're into, porcelain dolls, Barbie dolls, vintage dolls, manufactured dolls. Your dolls will all be treated the same over here. Because this channel is huge into vintage stuff, so we don't just only have reborn baby dolls here. We have vintage dolls as well. Here's a few more of those vintage babies. We've got so many cuties. It's crazy to see the evolution of dolls because doll collecting has been around for centuries and it's just evolved to the reborn status, which I think is really cool for, you know, the most realistic of baby dolls that you can get. It's just really neat to see where they were and where they are now. Fact number six, do we ship worldwide? Yes, we ship to almost every country. Um, there are some countries we don't ship to due to the countries having high theft. But you can always message us to see where we ship. The website is pretty good at telling you when you put in your shipping address. But sometimes that might not have your country because we might have not shipped there. So always message us to see if we ship to your country. We've shipped to a lot of countries, but we have not shipped to all of them. This baby is the last baby available on the website. She's Araya by Ping Lao. She's a longer newborn because she has these like legs that are almost straight. She's a happy one. She's always got a smile on her face. She has brown eyes, which is rare. I usually make most of my dolls awake with blue eyes. So she's got beautiful brown hair and brown eyes. If you like her little happy self, head on over to the website to check out more photos of her. And then you just simply add them to the cart and walk, go through this process. Like if you're ordering with any other store, it's as simple as that. I'm so happy to see that so many of you like this Annette Hempstead doll. 
I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for welcoming her to the channel. Fact number seven, do we do giveaways on this channel? Yes, we do. We actually have one going right now, and we're going to announce the winner for the giveaway. I teamed up with Paradise Galleries, and one of you right now that participated in the giveaway is going to win your own version of Hello World. Let's see who the winner is. And let's see who the winner is. Dun, dun, dun. Jennifer Edwards! Entry number eight. In my spare time, I watch TVs and movies and do hobby activities like make hair bands and hair bows for my babies and make magnetic and modified pacifiers for all my babies. I used to make hand jewelry and I occasionally still do. Yay! Congratulations! Fact number eight, I prefer to collect uh, newborn baby dolls versus bigger ones. So in my collection, you'll see mostly newborn reborns, but then sometimes I'll surprise myself and I'll have more of three months like I do right now. But my preferred size is, new size is newborn size. Fact number nine, in my fake reborn bottles, I use fabric softener. On occasion, I will make a formula bottle, but it's like maybe once or twice a year, and the formula I have is years old. But I will never judge you for what you use in your reborn bottles. It's your money. You do whatever you want to do with it. And fact number 10, I am married to Jackie Ortiz, who's also known as Heart to Heart Babies. We've been together 13 years, and we have a daughter who will be 21 in February. So we have baby Wesley here, and I know she's already in a uh, Christmas outfit, but we're going to go ahead and put her into a Christmas sleeper. I put them in such cute clothes, I never want to change them. Does anyone else have that problem where you're like, I know I have other outfits they need to wear, but I really like what they're wearing, and then you just don't change them, and then... Summer comes along and you still have winter clothes that have tags on them. So embarrassing. That used to happen to me a lot. But now, I try to buy secondhand stuff and then if... We're going to put these socks back on her. And then if I'm buying new stuff, like I make sure that they wear the new outfit that I have in the drawers before they wear the new outfit. So, so I don't buy new stuff if I have stuff in the drawers not being worn. And then... Like, um, oh my gosh, it's hard, but I try to not buy more than what I need. And then I try to resell my stuff a lot too, so then that makes me feel better. Um, but yeah, I used to every season have a bunch of clothes with tags on it that I never used during that season. So I try to use all those season clothes before I start buying for the next season. And that motivates me because I'm like, well, I can't get anything for the next season until we start wearing all these clothes. I used to have a pacifier obsession too, like, but now they, they hardly ever wear a pacifier. But I used to have to have every pacifier that was on the market. That was back when I was first few years of reborning to collecting. I wanted every pacifier. And doesn't Wesley look so cute? There's our new child doll. And Susie Akers, I believe, said to call her a child doll. She's just a petite little girl. And someone else said... When they were six, they didn't weigh very much either, so it works out. We just have, she's just a petite little girl. And there's baby Royal in his Grinch outfit. For those asking, he did get that at Walmart. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give in to negativity. And we'll be back soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye!